Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 110. Now, sometimes on big number episodes, like, you know, multiples of 10 or whatever, I often sort of step back from something and talk about fundamental mechanics. So, I'm just gonna quickly fix this push up here. As uh, it got cut off by some power projection down this road. And then I'm gonna talk about... Um some fundamental mechanics. Uh, I, th I think there's a unit here. It might be here now because uh, it attacked the unit. Or was the unit here? I don't know, let's just go. It's an infantry unit, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, there's a unit there. Mm, there's a unit here. enough power projection. That was a bit risky of me, but never mind. Let's move this here and turn off movement mode. Okay, now this is reconnected, I can... I can auto-move the rest without issue. So these guys are out of action points and cannot move, so I'll just say go here, all subordinates go. Oof. And they're on their way. Except for some reason this HQ did not move. Or it didn't move as far as it could move. power projection. Okay, they're all moving to where they need to move to. To be fair, I should probably turn auto move off. Stop this one. And this one. Stop that one. That one will just move there when it can, and the rest are moving. Okay, so I fixed this. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> we can work on the defensive front a little bit. <clears throat> Apparently, enemies were seen leaving this tile. that there's no enemies in there is pretty low. <clears throat> I don't mind the HQs being on the front line anymore. As I know that the... Uh, enemy position is bad on this part of the map. There's no road across there. You should go that way to join your HQ. You 
We should go this way. We should go this way. Who is your HQ? Okay. mode um so what i wanted to talk about was supply but we'll talk about supply when i'm just done with the defensive front i still need to do some work on the offensive front but since what i want to talk about involves the offensive front i'm just going to uh quickly shuffle things around on the defensive front first That's like four trucks that can just go away. Or not. That was weird. Bomb them. Destroyed. Or not. What is going on here? Just go away. How hard is it to destroy some trucks? Okay. There's still quite the ball of enemies here. Okay, this is like an artillery regiment that's kind of become a bit sad. somehow ended up with a ton of infantry in it. Thus making it look like something it's not. Okay. Oh, let's just leave it. <clears throat> What we have here, though, is some weak points. Got him. So, just cleaning up the, uh... What was the defensive front? is very rapidly going to become the offensive front part two I always wanted to merge these two. I think a few times I tried to merge these two units together and it didn't happen because they had just slightly too many units to merge. And there was nowhere else for the spares to go. I think a breakthrough here is possible. <clears throat> I'm repairing this bridge because these positions, these enemy positions are weak. And I may soon wrap around here and just kill these guys, which... Uh, you could argue that strategically it's meaningless, but... It's more, uh, it's more points for my VP good loss ratio, a meter, or whatever you want to call that. Okay, nobody there. This 
let's just spread these units out. It looks like the enemy here is just dead. Like there's nothing left. Yep, this is looking... Uh, this is looking bad for the enemy here. pull off that miracle hold twice. Finally my defensive lines are being abandoned. been a long and hard journey. On the defensive front. Regular attack on this, yes. Goodbye, artillery. This scout tank is as good as dead. Oh, he held on, actually. That's a bit of a shocker, considering that he's in a forest and is completely surrounded. That was a bad idea. <laughs> they were on the hill like it was a good position for them. Okay. So this is a pretty weak unit. So is this one. Let's find some units that have got ammo. Okay, that didn't help. <clears throat> okay, he's nearly dead. <clears throat> okay, there's a unit right in front of me still. Not anymore. That was a HQ, actually, that just bit the dust. by priest. It's a unit in a pit. Okay, that was a bit nasty for a moment, but cleaned itself up nicely. see this clearly. I can see clearly now the fog has gone. Okay. Bombs away. <clears throat> okay, they're almost they're almost wiped out. Thank you. 
toast. some effort to get that off the cliff anyway. It's four dudes. Yeah, not a surprise. Anyone got a shot? Yes. 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 This unit actually has the ability to make emergency units, so let's do that. Do you have the full amount of officers? Nope. Transfer them over and then move forward. That's uh, Churchill's, obviously pain in the ass to deal with. power being projected by the enemy back there. That doesn't make any sense. They did not manage to summon a unit back there, did they? Could check it with this. A little bit of a waste of fuel, but you know, whatever. No, there's no unit there. It's just the game being weird. Man, that was a lot of fuel that that used in just one one move. Okay, we've got a group of units here that are looking a bit weak. That's too many units. That'll do. Instant surrender. Well, maybe not quite instant, but uh, hey. Okay, so that's the defensive front taken care of. It only took me 19 minutes. It's not bad. I don't think that there's anything further I really want to do. Man, these units, look, they're all crap. <laughs> they, they have hardly any uh, integrity. I'd almost be tempted to just push my luck and hit them. On the grounds that the integrity is so bad. That they might just fall apart from being shot at. Okay. We'll just put a little bit of fear into them. <clears throat> Cause we can, so we did. Okay, that wasn't the best move in the world. But it doesn't really matter. 
So that enemy position here is melting. And it will soon be cut off. Will it be cut off in 10 turns? That is another question entirely, but... Anyway. <laughs> Ruined. Bad supply. Or bad morale, or something. Goodbye, Churchills. Now, I'm inundated with Churchills here for some reason, and somehow a unit got here, which I don't know how, but it's got the same marker. It's got the same markers uh, as the Churchills, so it's probably Churchills. How Churchill's got up on this hill, I have no clue. But anyway, I have plenty of uh, reinforcements on their way. I think what I should do, though... anti-tank gun here and just move this up here to better protect the uh, the HQ uh, maybe I can cut them off better by going here leave the artillery on the hill Alright, so let's talk about supply, because this is what I wanted to talk about this episode, but I just thought I would clean up some, some basics first. We'll talk about what these colours mean, <clears throat> and why, why things are, you know, going to slow down quite dramatically. That doesn't necessarily mean that I won't be able to cut off... Um, the uh, the AI in time, um, but uh, you know, if I highlight a unit here, for example, you can see that the units are going down this road instead, which is a major road, and then hitting this supply depot here. So I basically have to cut north somehow to cut them off. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about my supply and what these tiles mean and why it's frustrating. So <clears throat> these tiles mean that green means that you receive 100% of the supply you request. Yellow means you receive 75% of the supply you request. Um, I believe blue is 50% of the supply that you request. Red is 25% of the supply you request. And uh, then obviously grey is none of the supply that you request. And this pip, this represents the actual what they got. So blue means that they got 50% uh, of what they requested. Yellow means 75. This one got 75% of what it requested. And obviously green means that the unit got everything it wanted. 100% of what it requested. So. I could fix this. And how you fix it is pretty simple. Um, supply is delivered through depots and basically if you look at a route for someone let's say this green this orange unit here uh, we can see the shortest route 
for that unit. So basically, from here, down, through this depot, across, through this depot, then down, so not through this depot, and so on and so forth. Now, what is going on here is... Uh, I think this is a regular supply base, which is not building up. This is one of these, like, broken supply bases. So... Supplies are starting here, and they have 100 AP. And then they move based on uh, road type and traffic. I think it's 1 AP for each regular tile. So 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 4, 3, 2, 1, 89, uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 70, 6, Eight, six, eight. What am I on about? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fifty. But only gains two points here. So now fifty-two, fifty-one, fifty, forty-nine, forty-eight, forty-seven, forty-six, forty-five, forty-four, forty-four, forty-four three, two, one, forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, two, one, thirty. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so now we get plus 60 again because we pass through this base. So we go from uh, 20 to 80. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we die here. Or around here. Oh, it's taking a slightly different route here. I think these roads require two points. But it may make sense because you're cutting this long drop down here and around. So by cutting across here, it's, it's dropping away around here somewhere. In fact, by going this way, it's passing through another depot. Because I think there's a depot here, or somewhere I put a depot. But anyway, that's the that's the general gist of it. Oh yeah, there's a depot here for plus nine. Um, there isn't one here or or thereabouts. Anyway, if you do the math on it, you'll uh, you'll find that it's pretty it's pretty precise. I said that it died away around here, but it actually dies away just up here. But that's only a difference of twenty points. So I just must have miscounted a little bit, or just over, over counted. So you can just fix that very easily by adding supply bases. More supply bases means more positions to pick up points. For example, putting one right here on Saint Vith would would fix it. Would would fix the uh, the delivery issue. But it won't. And this is the problem, is for all the complexity of this supply system, it doesn't matter if these guys are requesting 25% or 50%. These guys are all requesting 50%, 50% these ones 25 <clears throat> It doesn't matter because I just don't have the actual supplies to supply them anyway. The raw number is actually the issue. I have no supply in the depot. Now, you can put more supplies into the network by depleting bases, by tearing down bases. But if you deplete a base, which is what I'm doing sort of over here on the front line, not these ones. Um, if I deplete... So if, I, if, if I'm depleting these bases and turning them into supplies, that's fine. These units are using those supplies. 
at this point, I don't need to extend the trucks any further. So it's, you know, it's not a problem. The supplies from down here are passing through this base, which doesn't add any transit points. Then they're hitting this one, which adds 20. This one, which adds 60 and probably carries the rest of the distance. Then there's another 40 points here. And then finally it's getting to here. If I if I were to drain these bases, I could put supplies into the network, but then um, I would have this problem where these tiles would start going yellow and, and blue and so on. But there just aren't enough supplies to go around, so if I depleted every base in a way, it would almost make sense to do so, simply because there are no supplies to go around. I'm, I'm so desperate for supplies that even if my units are only getting 50%, um, that's not the problem. The problem is that there just is nothing to deliver. And there isn't really a meaningful way to interact with that problem. Let's just get moving units. How do I get more supplies on the network? The only thing I can really do is use a supply card. Or drain bases to the point that my network is so bad that I am actually stockpiling supplies because I'm unable to deliver them. This is the transport with a load of anti-tank guns in it. So, what do you do? What can you really do? I mean, effectively, the answer is, is nothing. You're not about to not fight the enemy. Are you going to not move your units? That doesn't really seem like a great idea either. Let's go ahead and just shove all these into here. I mean, the, the response is to just not, not attack and not move, but this is a strategy game. We're supposed to be attacking and moving unless we're defending. And even if we're defending, it's usually wise to uh, be moving and attacking some things or, you know, using your artillery to do as much damage as you can possibly do.
And therein lies another interesting problem. Which is... You know, as the, as the appendage reaches out, it becomes... Um, It becomes the unit that the, it becomes the the area that is furthest away from the supply depot. So your very front line is the area that is least likely to get what it wants. Okay, they, these guys are actually fully supplied. They're just they're not getting additional supplies. Let's put these blue units on the hill because they are blockers now. Man, look at this mess. Coming for you, Liege. Eventually. There's nothing to do here, is there? Except I suppose kill this guy for being an idiot. He survived. Okay, he didn't. <laughs> uh, have I actually worked down here? Yeah. Except this. Why not? Okay, um... Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, so th there's just... There's no real way to interact with the real problem. The real problem is... I don't have enough supply for my enormous army. And there's no way for me to make more. It's that simple. well for being in a forest. The only thing I can do is buy supply cards. They are now unobtainably expensive. Or to put down depots and then set them into pleat mode. But the amount of supply they provide is next to nothing. The major depot provides 5,000... No, 4,500 supply and 4,500 fuel. Which is... Uh, it's not a great way to get supply. In fact, that would be 30... So, 60... Times 4... It would be 240... 
political points in depots to get the same supply as this, and, you know, you can't just plop them down everywhere and anywhere. So, um, it's, you know, it's time to push forward, but my, uh, my point remains. Which is, this push may slow down dramatically because of a lack of supply delivery and there's nothing I can do about it after all there's nothing that I really want to unsupply everything is involved in the front line or on the front line The allies have dropped below a hundred thousand for the first time. Look, I've I've barely taken any casualties. Or, you know. Attrition, obviously, but countered by deploying units. You could ration supplies by basically telling certain units to not receive any. But what units would you pick to not receive supplies? Every unit is doing something. Every unit is busy. All these units are engaged in combat. These units are engaged. These units are pushing forward slowly. Oh, there's actually a unit there. That's funny. Oh, it's artillery. Just had a bad day. Um... Damn, that sucked. Oh well, whatever. You know, all of these units are pushing forward, all these units are engaged in combat. There's there's no units that are just sat out the way that are uh, that are unimportant, that are uninvolved. You know, these units which are no longer moving, no longer fighting. You know, nevertheless, I still want them to receive food and fuel as they need it to just exist. They are serving a critical purpose of uh, guarding the the road, guarding this main supply road, guarding what is eventually going to be a wall that reaches all the way up. Which I was planning to make this wall go like up here and across, but it may make sense with the supply depot here an enemy supply depot here and the fact that it might just be a lot less defended it may make sense to just go straight north to connect up to this depot and start depleting it for all it's worth but just look at this this depot has been drained of uh, 5,000 supply and 15,000 fuel by what? By just this paratrooper? Maybe when I lost control of it for a little bit, some of the fuel got depleted out too. The allies. But the point just kind of remains that... Uh, there just there isn't the supply going around for me to... Um upkeep all of my my enormous army that I've lost hardly any of and there's nothing I can do about it <laughs> what what can I do about it other than potentially deplete deplete supply bases but remember 
that if you de if you deplete a supply base, it no longer provides supply projection. So the depletion of uh, the depletion of this base at Spa, which I think is actually my main route of supply now, would reduce supply projection into this area. And saving supplies because your front line cannot get supplied is not a great way to save supplies. <laughs> It's not the answer. Annoyingly, if I did play a depot up here, unless I like steal one from the enemy, like if I played a depot here, for example, I could boost the projection, but if I build up the depot, then that depot is going to want supplies for building up. So that's, you know, unhelpful. I wonder if this is defended. Probably is. But I could certainly... That's a strategic supply base as well. If these positions were undefended, and I could just move in here and start depleting these, that would help me out a fair bit. Because I wouldn't need those for projection. But are they? Are they undefended? That's a good question. Well, maybe because um, I've still got all this to do. Uh, i got to unpick. I've mostly moved stuff, but I've got to unpick this mess and try and push north. So, anyway, we're out of time. Thanks for listening to my rant on supplies. Um, but I guess the lesson, and in a way it's a very simple lesson, is it doesn't matter how good your supply network is if there's nothing to deliver. You actually need supplies to deliver for it to matter. And that's the problem I have. Is there? I have nothing to deliver. Alright. I'll see you guys next time.